Welcome to a brand new episode of Black, White, and Red All Over. I'm Victor Dandridge. Ryan Seymour. Dude, how you doing this week? Too many books. Way too, too many, many books. books. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So I got, think we got guidance, but the right? problem is there were still so many books still that came so, out. Still so, so many. Like there was guidance. It was good guidance. Yes. It was good guidance. Yeah. But there was way too many books for yeah. even just the guidance to be simple. Yeah. We literally had to go, first go through. It was like, well, what do we read that was the same? We're talking about that. Like yeah. that was. Yeah. Because we had to set everything out. Right. Like I know I tweeted out my, like it was like a pile of like nine books. I didn't, to, I didn't tweet mine just because uh, literally it was bigger than what my camera could capture. Yeah. I got busy on this week. Yeah. It was a good week though. It was a good oh, week. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, so with that in mind, we have all the same here. Yes. For our reading pleasure. Yep. Um, where do we start? This is the hard part. Oh, that's the toughie. Like I yes. almost like, almost wish we could like live stream this so people could tweet us or like <laughs> just tell start, us things. Yeah, start start here. We want to talk about this thing. Um, because you've got you know over the top grandeur of hit of hit girl. There, there is over the top. Yeah. Forget it. We're starting. We're starting there. Okay. Hit girl three. Yeah. Um. Oh my god. You almost have to like describe this while speaking very fast yeah, because the only stuff... way that you're going to get it like correctly. Okay, yeah. so here's the beginning. Yep. Hey, girl is moving around the world on a world tour. She's looking for other people to take with her in order to kill other folks. Yeah. Awesome, right? Yeah. So wait, where are we at? This one, we're in Colombia, yes? Yep. Yes. Okay, so she's got this guy. He's like an awesome hitman. Yeah. works for this like drug mule family thing. <laughs> it's freaking crazy. Yeah. They kill people with things that kill people with things. Like it's nuts. Yeah. All kinds of visual. Like an iguana with a box cutter. Literally, I think that was in there. Yeah. I want to say that was in there. Okay, so here we've got him going up against like this other big family that he yeah. knows is supposed to be kind of cool with. Yeah. And boom, that's your setup. Yeah. And this is where Mark marks us. Twice. Twice. Okay, because okay, if you're a fan of Mark Miller, you know that there's like <laughs> This moment, usually around issue three in a yep. four-part series, where he takes the concept mm -hmm. that you're knowing and you're loving and you're used to, and then he goes, boom, flip that. Yep. He does so. Yeah. But, but what you're not ready for yeah. is when he flips it again. And it's so simple. It was. Like, I'm like, oh. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. That's what makes it so bad. Like, it's the most obvious answer, yep. and it's the one you're clearly like, I don't see it. Yeah, but it's there. The whole time. Yeah. The absolute whole time. Um, it's violent. Very violent. It's hysterical. Uh, most interesting use of a baby in comics. Yes. Def I'm willing to argue there. that one. Definitely top yeah. five. Hard pressed to figure out if there's anything higher. Yeah. Um, I, I know if like my 14 year old son, Brennan, yeah, yeah. Were, to, were to say, Hey dad, I'm dating this, this, this girl that goes by hit girl. Okay. Automatically. I would, I would bless the, the union. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you have no choice. You kill you otherwise. Yeah, probably. Literally be pretty bad. Yeah. Um, you really have to look at the the scale of this, though. Mm -hmm. um, the idea that this is a world tour. Yeah. So this is this is just the beginning. Yeah. That's the of thing. she can go all over the world, like just just pick what, yeah you know, whichever group of criminals that you want to see murdered, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's there. It's an option. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. But the thing that I love the most, though, is that even in this issue, they kind of point out the fact that. The point of what she's doing, yeah. she's almost guilty of herself. Right. Which I was like, ooh, ooh. slip in that reality talk. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, because she's kind of a mass, kind of a serial killer. Yes, yes, um, yes. Uh, she's yeah. racking up many, many bodies. Yes. Though technically, she might be able to argue in this particular series, I didn't it's, do anything. It's not really, yeah. I it's, didn't. It's, it's mono doing it. What? Not yeah. me. I did not do. Um, which is kind of clever. Yeah. It's very clever. Um, obviously, the end of this book, she is rededicated. Yes. So I, good. I, I fear the amount of red that is going to be in this last <laughs> issue. Like that's Somebody's printer is going out. I'm going to tell you that right now. Yeah. Stock up because, oh, this book's going to be all sticky. It's, yeah. 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 It's going to be awesome. I can't it's, wait. It's so amazing. <laughs> just, oh, so many dead bodies. <laughs> all over the place. And just people getting hit with things. Yes. Yeah. Bullets, fists, knives, knives, shurikens. Yeah, yeah. Probably a spork. Oh, she knows. Of course, she would. She would, and then twist it, break yeah. it off, and then give it to you. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Like as a present. There Here. you go. Sweet little Mindy. Mindy is like. Can you think of another, another like, truly despotic child character? Uh, uh maybe uh. I hate Fairyland. Maybe. Oh, Maybe. Oh, now that's a crossover for you. Yeah. How would you guys feel about a crossover of Hit Girl versus Gertie? Let it be. Yeah. Somebody make that happen. I don't yeah. even care if it's just a fanfic on the Miller World like fan 
form pages. Yeah. Put that up there, yeah. please. Yeah. Please. That'd be it, awesome. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Like you could start it and then like other people could comment and just <gasps> and we just keep adding to it? Yeah. All right, guys. What Millerworld.tv? Yeah. Yes. Make yeah. that happen. Join up. Join up. Become a regular. Make that thread happen. Yeah. You know what? I might do that tonight. Yeah, I was gonna say I like, might start like, that like one of us just needs to log on and start it. Gonna do it. Yeah. That's happening. Okay. All right. So where do we go after that? Oh, wow. I mean, we're talking like doo -doo 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 -doo. Where what, do, where do, what's the, there's what's the follow up? An interesting corollary because uh, this week, yes, Doctor Strange ships. True. And it, it's good. Kate's is doing the writing. Yes. But mm -hmm. there's Shadow Man from Valiant Comics, which I feel is a far more action packed. I agree with this. I agree with this. Um, so this is issue two. Yep. So, uh, Valiant has created this, this new platform for a very interesting character. I mean, yep. steeped in voodoo culture. Yes. Um, magical realms, all mm -hmm. this fun stuff, yep. but there is some hands-on action. Yeah, it is not just spell casting. Yeah, like oh, what's going on? Like, what kind of mystical artifact can I get a hold of? Like, no, I'm gonna go punch that thing in the face because that's what I gotta yeah. do. And uh, and a character that could be very easily relegated to like, uh, like a sidekick, right? Is not. She's an equal partner in this. Literally, there are times when Shadow Man himself yeah. is almost like. You're the punching bag. Like you, <laughs> you're yeah. the thing that gets punched in front of. Like, yeah, he's totally team meat shield. Yes, and, and <laughs> that's it works. Yeah, it absolutely works. Um, her badassery though is yeah. a huge, huge. Like, I love it. It's a yeah. boon. You can't, you can't go wrong with it. Like the way she's figuring out stuff, the way that she's approaching the whys yeah. of the Shadow Man mythos is brilliant. Yeah, and that's yeah. Cause that's, that's, I mean, that's definitely something big because she's she's got experience. Mm -hmm. She's got mm -hmm. knowledge. Um, whereas he's got brute force. Right. But and when just, you put those together, yeah, ooh, it's so good. Very it's good. So good. Um, like I said before, we did the first issue, and I was on board for this one definitely. Yeah. Locked in. I got to finish this arc because this one was like a really cool adventure because I'm not necessarily the magic guy. Yeah. You know, I've enjoyed some things with Doctor Strange. I have. Yeah. But that's not necessarily my boat. Yeah. But I'm willing to stay afloat for yeah. this one. What's, what's, really cool. what's, what's really cool is coming up on May 7th, free comic book day, yes. if I'm not mistaken, the Valiant offering is Shadow Man number one. Oh. So, like, even if you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to spend four bucks, wait. And then yeah, get the book for go. free, check it fine. out, and then you'll be back. You'll be fine. And you'll love it. You'll love it. Yeah. I think it's May 5th. Yeah, it's May fifth. Yeah, yeah May seventh is that other the Hero yeah, Clicks pre-release. Different thing. That, that's all right. I was with you. Too I was much with stuff you. at the shop. Listen, that, that's a good thing to have. That's true. That's that a good. True. That's a good problem. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we have so many awesome things happening uh, in the geek uh, world. Uh, uh, Come play with us. Yeah. Um. So definitely pick up Shadow Man number two. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, you'd be a fool not to. And again, it's only issue two, so you have plenty of jump on time. Yeah. There's no, no reason not to. to. Hunt for Wolverine. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. So the, the guy that killed Wolverine. Yeah. Mr. Charles Soul. Yeah. Chucky Soul, man. Is back with the, the return of, yes. of Logan. He's been gone, what, three years? Yeah. Like Marvel committed to it. And he's yeah, gone for, for three years. Yeah. That's a that's a good stint yeah. for a guy that heals. Yeah. To be dead for that long. Yeah. That's that's pretty. That's solid. big stuff. Um, all right. So overall, did you enjoy this book? Yes. I mean, it obviously, it's setting up some stuff. Yeah. It, the, the the question of how 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 does he get out of the adamantium is answered. Is, is answered, answered answered perfectly and answered very well yeah. like it was one like for me it was the obvious answer yeah and I was very glad that they went for the obvious answer yeah. that was one that was like yeah if you don't do that yeah shame on you yeah what right yeah it, it, anything else would have been just over the top yeah for no reason yeah for no reason um I was really happy to see mm -hmm. that uh, I like the character profiles that they're putting yeah. together this works out really well um the flashback sequence was yeah it was very very cool it was well done the way well they were done. telling that through that yeah that was cool uh the bad guys at the beginning and perfect choices yeah perfect choices i have to admit yeah. that was yeah the only thing i didn't like yes and I, I can't wait for you to share this was the fact that it's a miniseries yeah like don't if this was just in the middle of one of the x-men runs it would be perfect so Let's go back, right? Mm -hmm. There was a time, yeah. back in your time, um, when a major advance in a story yeah. would have just been a part of yeah. the series. Yeah. And that was fantastic. I mean, that's the classic, 
Dark Phoenix Saga, yeah. the Phoenix Saga, yeah. like any of those things Absolutely. were literally just a part of the series. Yeah, Rise and Fall of the Shi'ar Empire. Yep. Like, we're not even having to go that far back. That's true. Like, you could have done this as, because we're going three or 17 X-Books at the moment, right. uh, just have it as a crossover like Messiah Complex. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. everybody knows how awesome Messiah Complex turned out. It turned out really well. Yeah. I mean, you could even start this off as like a, a B-Story, like backup issue piece yeah. that builds up until it is the full, you know, crux of the yeah. story for a month. And then think about that. It's like yeah. you do it like Age of uh, Age of Apocalypse. Yeah. That was one that did it. Yeah. Um, you just have like all of a sudden you have what three or four X Men titles yeah. to tell this thing within a month. Yeah. So then you get that story that much faster. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of I have to admit. It, it, yeah. Which is like a weird nitpicky thing because I loved it, but it's like why not? Why not just make it a part yeah. of the regular thing? Well, it's partly because, to be fair, Marvel has kind of failed when it does event books. Yeah. And that's, this, you know, making an event it, book. Yeah. As opposed to just a really good story. Yeah. It works. Just tell a story. Yeah. And sometimes that matters way better. Yeah. Way, way better. Um, and also because it's kind of getting convoluted with their build up to Infinity Countdown yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah, it's a lot. It, it, yeah. It's a lot. So just tell a good story. Yeah. Bring Wolvie back and yeah. people be will happy. be on board. I, yeah. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah. Um, overall, though, it was a good read. Yeah, it really was. The the backup story with with Tony Stark was mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. really really good. Mm -hmm. uh, the little, couple little flash splash pages we yep. got. Yeah, those like, are fun. Those made, are fun. Made, made me made me giddy you in little... my in my stabby <laughs> stuff. <laughs> um, I was curious as to why Stephen McNiven didn't come back for this one. The, yeah, that's an interesting question. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I don't know why because it would have been perfect. Right. You like, know, grand opening, grand closing, or reverse that grand yeah. closing, grand opening. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Um, I am curious, though, how this fits within the time frame of all the appearances that Wolverine has had yeah. coming up, yeah. or recently. Yeah, because he's, he's shown up in the backs of some other, some other books. Right. Yeah, when is this? I mean, I'm assuming it's for, or is it after? Is it after? If it's after, why is it? That's kind it, of... It, it, yeah. Which, again, if you just made this part of the regular yeah. books, not so much of a glaring yeah. thing. But that's okay, though. Yeah. That's okay. Um, we'll figure that out at some yeah. point. You know, make it work. Yeah. Put it in the right direction. Uh, if you're in, if, like, if you're, everybody's going to have an artist at their free comic book. Day, I would imagine. If you're a Wolverine fan, definitely hit up your local comic shop. Grab it because there are blank convention yes, sketch covers yes. for it. Grab those up, and you'll be you'll be so yeah, happy. And pay so, so happy. the artist. Don't don't try to get it for free. Pay the artist. Unless you unless you have like negatives. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Yeah. Sketch me up some stuff. You owe me. Bub. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, 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 you're right. I, and I think the sketch cover phenomenon is really hitting like its stride. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's going to, I don't think it's going to pop the same way like the sketch cards did. Yeah. I think that's something that's really cool. Very unique. Yeah. Very awesome. Yeah. So yeah. Free comic book day. That's going to be a great yeah. day to do that. Yeah. Good call. Especially here. Cause we're going to have a bunch of artists. Yeah. Here. Columbus, Ohio. We're going to have a bunch at the comic town. Yeah. Be good times. Lots of goodness. Um, all right, so do we dare pick Book of the Week? Is it the... Ooh, yeah, I know, right? Um, is it the, the magic that we weren't really prepared for? Is it the return of a hero? Or is it the glorious death march of a sweet little 12-year-old girl? Um, it really is beautiful. <laughs> it I mean, really it's, is. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I almost want... Okay, I'll admit it. I want to give this to my 8-year-old daughter and be like, aspire. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to be like, dream big, okay? You too can, in fact, be a world traveling mass murderer. Yeah. Oh my gosh. For good. Which of my daughters would be? Like, I'm thinking Kira. I'm thinking that's Kira's, not that's Kira's not the one that's got the. Okay. All right. See, but I don't think Harold would do it. I think she's a little too nice. She would cry about it. But Juno? <laughs> Juno would do it. Yeah. You still have time. I do have time. I have yeah. lots of time. So <laughs> if y'all see me punching my baby daughter, no, it's training. It's yes, not it's, abuse. It's, not it's abuse. literally. <laughs> Training, okay? If Nick Cage could shoot her in the movie and it's love, don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> so terrible. <laughs> that is so terrible. All right, I think it's time for some honorable, honorable mentions. mentions. Um, all right, so nothing the same showcased. Correct. But we did read at least one book that is yeah. the same. So let's go with yours because I didn't read any of your extras. All righty. Oh, this is a toughie. This is mm -hmm, a toughie. Mm -hmm. All right. The cover intrigued me. Yes. So I had to had to pick it up and read it. We have gotcha. Rick and Morty. Right. Uh, it is issue number thirty-seven. Okay. Uh, okay. So 
the, the, the setup is, at some point in the past, uh, Rick and Morty uh, killed a whole bunch of vampires. And now the vampires uh, want revenge for, oh, uh, for, for killing it. Um, Morty has one response to it uh, that involves Dracula's wives. So if you watched uh, Francis Ford Coppola's... Uh, uh, Bram Stoker's <laughs> Dracula? Yeah. It recreates that scene. Oh, uh, that's awesome. Uh, Summer has a different reaction with, with the, the orphans okay. of the vampire. And, and yeah, it's just amazing. It's just a whole bunch of people getting murdered. Uh, vampires getting murdered, rather. Uh, Rick uh, basically explaining that scorched earth and you can always create a new Morty. Um, yeah, it's a... Uh, it's That's messed up, Yeah, man. And there's a... Uh, That's messed up. There's a, uh, a rhyming th uh, phrase that uh, Rick uses in terms of where they're going to be surrounded by vampires to kill the rest of them. Um, uh, we'll be uh, something you can say at church. Like what? Are you, what are you, uh, doing? you might be able to slip it in. Okay. Uh, but it's, right. we'll, yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be fangs to something else that rhymes with fangs. Deep in vampires. Oh. So. Yeah. Oh. Now I didn't get a chance to read Mighty Thor. So <laughs> <laughs> as we go from that, that to this. Yeah. All right, so Mighty Thor 706. Yeah. It is the end of an era. <sighs> it's the last of Jason Aaron and Russell Dodderman's run. Um, man, I'm not saying it was emotional to read this. But y'all got to stop ending these awesome-ass books this year. Like, first it was Invincible. Yeah. Now this. I just can't deal. Um, Jane took her final bow, obviously, yeah. in the last issue. She uh, knew that if she changed one more time... Uh, that she could die like that was that was the thing and the mangog was destroying everybody so she did what she had to do like a good thor would yep. and you know battled hardcore and threw mjolnir uh with mangog into the sun yep. destroying both that was last issue she changes back oh <sighs> this issue is the fallout of that action yeah. and emotional yes Absolutely. I think, like, it was already emotional, and then you get to the end, and they wrote letters. Like, you know, the creative team wrote letters, and you're just like, oh, gosh. Ah, I miss you. Um, I love this run. Like, this is one that I'm definitely passing along to my daughter um, just because I, I want to give it to my grandmother. I want to give it to my mom just because it's such a powerful thing. And out of the diversity shift that yeah. Marvel did, Mighty Thor was one of the few that I thought actually made sense. Yeah. You know, it wasn't that they turned Thor into a woman. Yeah. Um, they just kept true to the original nature that if you're worthy, you get to be Thor. Yeah. And Jane was worthy. So uh, the the scale of this was beautiful. Um, I can see yeah. if uh, an intrepid entrepreneur is going to make a lot of money with little trinkets of metal uh, on the convention circuit. Yeah. If you're smart, you'll read, you'll know what I'm talking about make that happen yeah it might be me just buy it it's all good five bucks a piece don't even worry it's all good yeah yeah it's it value priced. yeah that's ugh. yeah because i flipped to the end and i was just like you're oh. not supposed to do that i know i know you I know. read it no it's beautiful you gotta experience see look see you know what and then you're gonna read it it's gonna hit you even harder yeah it's just because you did that because i'll know like right fudge. you're gonna get there you're like oh no i'm almost there i oh, got i got yeah this is what's gonna happen yeah. he's gonna sound just like that yeah, I, I do. I really do. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's the opposite of the masculine. It's, All right, <laughs> X file me. X file me good. Well, as 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 if you're like me, yes. Uh, whenever you see a tweet uh, that starts with Florida man, you know you're in for a treat. Uh, X files case files yes. Florida man. Uh, so Mulder and Scully are heading down to Florida. Uh, because in, in this particular comic universe, mm -hmm. all of the Florida Man cases are actually kind of related. Oh. And so they're going down there to, uh, to, to check into it. Uh, it's it's kind of like one of those comedy episodes of, of X-Files. Uh, in it, Yeah, it, alligators, <laughs> uh, roadside. The stuff happens. It, it, yeah, yeah, there's bath Cat? salts. And, oh, uh, they go that far? It, yeah, there's uh. some kind of probably alien cult at some church. Oh, man. Uh, Mulder is, is just wisecracking the entire time. Uh, yeah, if, you, if you're a fan of the X-Files, definitely pick it up. That's, that's uh, a good one. If you're not, You should don't. still pick it up. Well, pick it up anyway. Yeah. Cause Change your life. It's good stuff. Yeah. It's good stuff. So I'm a big fan of Charlemagne the God. He's a, a radio DJ mm -hmm. uh, host on uh, the radio in New York. And he always says that the craziest people in the world come from the Bronx and Florida. So there you go. Peruf. Yeah. Peruf.
Um, I like that cover though. It's funky. It, yeah, it's like so old school. Yeah, um, like a like a movie B movie poster. stuff yeah, movie poster. Exactly, like that's yeah. awesome. Like we should literally like flip through that book, but like do it from the back of us. Maybe yeah. we should do that for the Patreon. Yeah, we'll we'll spoil that one. I haven't even read it yet. I'm talking like <laughs> we're gonna spoil this one, but we're gonna do it shot behind us, yeah. like Mystery Science. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. Oh, I get to be Tunk. I get to be Crow. Can I be Crow? I mean, whoever you. Oh want. my gosh, maybe Gypsy, since there's no no social constraints to. Save that for the show. Okay. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Hopefully, you'll want to join the Patreon yeah. just to see that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy didn't. He was, he was Jeremy's like, like, no. Better don't. <laughs> All right, so Deep Roots, uh, number one from mm -hmm. Vault Comics. Yep. Um, interesting sort of piece here. Let yeah. me read this back piece to you. Roots, once suffocating under cement, tear through the streets of London to throttle buildings. Let that line sink just through your head. Marinate, okay? marinate. Right? Like, you would almost swear, like, oh, somebody's pitching a Poison Ivy story. Yeah. But not. Vegetable homo... Hum I never say this word right. Homunculi. There we go. Yeah. Uh, hold up banks with automatic weapons. Mm -hmm. Wait. Hold on. Yeah. Did you say weaponized veggie people? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we did. Uh, there is a green and blooming world beyond our, your own fighting back against the human pollutant. Yeah. That just got like super political, it, yeah. super political. This book has so many things. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. And I can't say that it's bad. It's just it, a lot. It's overwhelming. It is, because you don't, you don't know what to expect here. Yeah. Like, you really don't. Um, first couple of pages, you're like, oh, it's a... Like weird swamp thingy. Right. Like over the top. Swamp thing, barbarian, finally awoke, and now he's going to clean the world maybe it's like oh, i'm a human now right i have yeah. um my favorite part was the middle part where it was like a little bit more straightforward but then wasn't all at the same time yeah yes yes yeah. um i thought that was really cool the way that they're playing around with uh you get introduced to a character don't get connected to that character <laughs> because you think yeah. you're like oh this dude's the hero mm, things happen yeah might be might not. Kind of like we'll find out. Kind of like aftershocks, Cold War. Yes, very much so. Like I got that. Cold War. Yeah, yeah, you did hard. Um, it, it's this is a wild story. If you are a fan of very uh, textured art, yes, this is this is definitely something to check out. Um, yeah, Waters. Uh, I, Dan Waters. I, I was not familiar with. Yeah. Um, let's see. It says he did Limbo, The Shadow, and Assassin's Creed. So hmm, it's got some pedigree here. Yeah. Val Rodriguez uh, did the artwork. It's it's lush. Yeah, like it's funky. I like it. It's kind of like so many different things. It's it's. Yeah. I can't even like pinpoint exactly. That's so I love that page. <laughs> it's just <laughs> it was really good. It was really good. This was a suggestion. Uh, Lou suggested this one. Yep. And um, yeah, yeah. I, was, I was glad it's I read pretty, it. Pretty I was stuff. glad I read it. It was it was a tough call to put it on the honorable mentions and not put it up here. Yeah, but. Deep roots. Yeah. They get you. Yeah, it's pretty they good. Get you. Pretty good. Deep down. Yeah, they root on you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we've got some uh, some winners to announce. Yes. So we gave away some cool stuff. Two copies of the hardcover Shock yep. from Aftershock. Um, and we gave one to a new subscriber yep. and one to uh, a vet subscriber. Yes. Who do we got here? Our new subscriber winner mm -hmm. is Captain Cron 27 Hey! Congratulations. 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 Our veteran mm -hmm. watcher and subscriber is Ruben Dario. Hey! Thank you very, very much for being a long-term fan. Really appreciate that. And then we also gave away the, the signed uh, yeah. postcard. Yeah, from Aftershock Comics yeah. also. Uh, and that goes to, all one word, another terrible idea. Which Jeremy informed us was his original name uh, before he changed it, converting to humanity when he was 13. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but, the yeah. duh. What, what was that? Meta World. Meta World Humanity. I'm sorry. I stand corrected. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> the Duff family is not. <laughs> they're they're going to be so mad when they yeah. watch this episode. You told. Yeah. You said you were never. It was going to be like that episode in uh, uh, Tales from the Dark Side. Yeah. <laughs> With James Remar. You told. Uh. I'm sorry. That was a long pull. Maybe you got it. Maybe you didn't. You should watch that, though. It's classic. Um, congratulations, guys. No, we really appreciate your support. And hopefully you'll love the awesome swag yeah. that we're sending out to you. Um, 
Is there anything that they got to do? Like their profiles are public. Yeah, as long as your profiles are, are, are public here in the next uh, next few days, we'll yeah. reach out to you to get your uh, your shipping your information. Your particulars. And... Your particulars. Yeah. We'll, we'll holler at you. Yep. Yes, yes. So uh, this week, a movie that I've heard. some people are yeah. interested in is coming out. Yeah, it's like Thanos, Hands of Fate or something. Black Panther 2 is what I've been told. <laughs> it's... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh uh are you excited for it man yeah you're gonna, you gonna check that one out i'm gonna, I'm gonna try i hope you do man I, yeah. listen listen if you're watching this show if you come in and you spoil that movie before rye gets to see it i will punch you in the brains okay <laughs> don't do it it happens to him almost every all the time time all the time be kind be of mind he's working in the shop he can't just go to the cinema yeah yeah i got like 17 kids all under the age of 14. Right. And you can't sneak all of them in there. They're too loud. Yeah. Like one of them will stab somebody again. It's, it's at least it just doesn't happen. Jeez. Playing the popcorn. I hate it when that happens. Yes. Yeah. Find my baby. Where's my baby? At? Oh my God. Baby's in, in the, the popcorn. popcorn. Every time. It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah. So that's, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's happening. That's happening. And of course, a week from this week, yep. one of the greatest holidays in yep. Geekdom free comic, free comic book day. Book day. Yeah. So check with your local store. Yes. They probably have something awesome available for I'm you. I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. Uh, so. But what's really awesome is what's going down here at yeah. Comic Town. Yeah. Like, you've got like a star studded cast. Yeah. Not even lying. S several really, really amazing yes. uh, artists. Uh, Todd Bystel, mm -hmm. you're, you're going to be here. What? Uh, Todd, yeah. I'm actually going to be in town? Yeah. Yes, I am. I'm going to be here. We're going to do some panels. Yeah, we're going to do some Q&As, all kinds of including stuff. Including one with Zach Thompson <gasps> from Aftershock Comics. Wait. He wrote something recently that yeah. I enjoyed very thoroughly. Her Infernal Descent. Oh, yeah. snizap. Yeah. yeah and, and, and we've got our own special convention sketch variant of that. Any that are not purchased up on Free Comic Book Day will put up for sale also on our eBay store. So. Stellar. Stellar. Yeah. We got the goods, baby. Yeah. Hit up your local comic shop. Hopefully they'll have just as much fun planned for them yeah. and you and that stuff. But uh, if you're in Columbus, you know where you need to be. Yeah. And I got one real quick thing. The, mm -hmm. the, the lads from BCW yes. uh, brought this over. It's officially licensed uh, Walking Dead boxes. Yeah, that's dope. Uh, and one of the really, really cool things about them is they're double walled uh, corrugated cardboard. So it's thicker. It's thicker. So it's basically the same as a, a regular, like a lot of the, the artwork boxes you get right. are only one wall. And, and they're they're kind of flimsy a little and, flimsy and, and right? not worth your money um but this? I wish it was one, this one's really really good it's basically the same as just a regular short box just with artwork on it That's and dope. it's really really cool they've got those if your local shop doesn't have them you can also get them off the bcw website there you so. go there you go much love look yeah. at that good stuff to read ways to carry them around house them keep them safe Boom, what do you need? Mm -hmm. What else do you need? Nothing. You want a Captain America shirt? I think we got that too. Yeah. Like we got in your size. You want one? You want me to go get it? I'll, I'll go get yeah. it for you. you yeah. I'll, I'll go get it. Right I, got, now. I, yeah. can, I got connections at the post office. We can mail it. Put it in the mail. You can't have my shirt. You, nobody wants to see what's under it. I feel so much shame. <laughs>